welcome to another video on the JB hey. and Millie channel and happy December. I kind of want to say Merry Christmas already. We are bringing back the Advent Tours. This is going to be the first of a series of 25 tours that we do over the December period as we count down to Christmas with you. So here we go, JB. Do you want to tell us about the first island? Yeah, so this is, well, I can't really pronounce it, but I'm going to do my best. It's called Stravaig. I'm hoping I'm getting that right, but it's inspired by the movie Klaus or Claus. Again, my pronunciation is a little bit off today, but the exciting part is that this is an island created by our friend Lauren, or also known as Curry Dune. You may also recognise their name because we've done a few collabs with them. They are a um, YouTuber, so I'll leave a link to all of their socials in the description down below they do amazing things their editing skills are on point so please 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 do check them out now I apologize if this is a little bit on the late side but hopefully we're gonna still be able to produce 25 tours this month now if you do have a winter or Christmas themed island and you'd like us to visit this month please feel free to comment down below your DA and we'll do our best to visit but yeah I do hope that you enjoy this island Oh wow, it is snowing. Now, I want to say this is our first snow of Christmas, but it isn't. We did go on a little trip a few days ago, and honestly, the snow in the UK was insane compared to what we'd usually have. But this is our first Animal Crossing snow of December. <gasps> Look at the island flag. I love Claus. what they've done with the text. So if you are familiar with the movie that this is inspired by, please, please, please comment down below any references that you find. We haven't seen this wow. film yet, but we do definitely want to. That's amazing. And look at this. It's already so Christmassy. It's like a little Christmas market. So I think that this has incorporated lots of items from last year, but I think that's okay because I think it's really important to kind of get into that festive spirit. Now, I don't know what um, what items that they're planning on including this year at least, like if there's anything like, thing that people have found within the coding or the Nook shop, but I absolutely adore what the game's given us so far because I think it's, I don't know, I have so much nostalgia for the tours that we did last year as well. Like I've even done a playlist in preparation for this kind of new batch oh, of wow. tours. So do go check them out if I'm you want like to. I'm getting like Christmas Carol vibes from this, like Scrooge's house. Yeah, and also like little markets there, like almost Victorian, right? With all yeah. the little fish outside. Oh, wow. And those like almost seem like real reindeer in a way. Just like Ooh. out and about in the kind of forest area where they would and be. I like how they've partially hidden the snowflakes so it looks like individual snowflakes falling as opposed to just the light design. Yeah, like a group. Oh my gosh, a little present of a snow, snow person there. Oh, I love that. Wow. I love how they've not been scared of using like the different coloured ice designs as well. Do you know what I mean? I find like yeah. some people can be intimidated by it because it's like, oh, but... That's not how it looks. Do you know what I mean? It is a bit intimidating, but I think, again, they've done the right choice making that the green one because it makes everything seem almost natural. And look at that, the green again. That's amazing. Wow. That's cosy. That oh, and so the sleigh as well. I think, how could you get the sleigh? Like, was that the sleigh that you could only get from Jingle last year? Yeah, there was only one available. You couldn't reorder it. It was like one per account on your island. <gasps> Look at this, it's like a little Christmas concert hall. Sing us a Christmas song, JB. I don't know any. I don't know any. I think my Indian background means that I could only sing some Punjabi melody. I think maybe I'd defer to you for the Christmassy musicals. Which ones do you know, eh? It's a Wonderful Life. I've actually never seen that. Me neither. <laughs> So this is the thing, I feel like I've not seen the classics, like, like that. Well, what are the classics? Oh, there's gifts around the sleigh. The Grinch. I wouldn't call that a classic. I'd call that a relatively modern one. I don't know. I guess the classics are anything in black and white, right? Isn't that literally a movie called, like, Miracle on Elm Street or something? Yeah. Not Elm Street, that's like a... Miracle on 34th Street or something. Yeah, that's a film, isn't it? I think that's an old one. We can say that's a classic. I guess if you want to comment down below a classic movie that we should watch, we'll definitely put it on the list. Ooh, oh, is that? Your no, Gemma. Oh, Gemma. That's how you laugh. Yeah. Always. 
Let's see if there's anything going on on the beaches. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I love that. Holy. <gasps> Wait, let's stand back and see if we can get in the reindeers on the <gasps> yes! rooftop. Oh my gosh, see, that's literally... Rudolph. See, I forget what we could have done, like, even before the new items and stuff, and it all just holds up so perfectly. Oh, I want to try and zoom in as much as we can. Like, maybe we didn't need the update. Maybe we were all just painfully uncreative, except for... This, this is fabulous. I wonder if there's going to be Santa soon, though. Oh, and that, oh I, I can't believe any of this notice, but literally with, like, the Rudolph at the front as Did well. Did you not know that? I said that. No, I'm 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 all over the place. Okay, so that kind of covers this side of the island. We're just going to run down and see what's at the next part, I think. It's weird to say, but that avatar did look like Lauren. So I'm guessing maybe they could have... Ch Can you change your name on this? I'm wondering if they almost changed it to fit in with a character from Claws. Possibly. But I didn't know you could change it. I'll have to research. Okay, so let's explore up here next. Oh, could this be... Claws! Okay, yeah, they've definitely done this by characters. A true selfless act inspires. Oh my god, I do love all these lights. This little winter forest walkway. It's so nice. Oh, I kind of just want to get a picture of this, you know, like the reindeer here. But who knows? Wow. Let's just run JV down there. It just, something like that, it just looks... Like it, I don't know, it's just like, look, even the terraforming, I think I'm not really like noticing in this, but I need to because it all just seems Ooh. so specific and it's just fantastic. It's like down to the campsite, continues onto the beach with the fire, more tents. I think that, um, I think it's called a child's tent or a kid's tent, the item. I think it's certainly one of, a game was a game changing item. Yeah, you got them... On, well, for Toy Day, I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh, wait, so if it's December now, are we getting all, like, Toy Day stuff in the in Nox? We should be doing. I guess we've not checked yet, right? No. We should. We should. Okay, so then we have this other little path back here. This is all so beautiful and so natural. Like, I do feel like I appreciate natural islands. Just because obviously it was a desert island when we arrived, so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it is very much a natural evolution. Even this, like, it's like a functional island as well. Like, this is where you get firewood. And I assume that, I like, because, like, the house in itself looks quite brown in, like, its colouring. So maybe even it's all, like, a natural island in and of itself. And, oh, my gosh, there were loads of presents. Like, Christmas Santa's Grotto. This is, like, Santa's... Oh, my gosh. I love this. So this is like the room where you prep Santa's sleigh. This is almost like inspired by the Polar Express because there's a bell thing dropped on the floor next to the sleigh. Oh, yeah, the first gift of Christmas. Yeah, you have the elves here stacking all the presents into the sleigh. There's all the boxes here like to be posted out. Perfect. I love that room. I wish I could be Santa just to try it once. You know what I mean? Just delivering. and Oh, this is the kind of wood aesthetic that I was talking about. That's really nice. Wow. I love that. And even like the wood egg, I think. And I love what a celebration this is of Animal Crossing. Almost pre, like, new items. Like, I feel like a lot of these we already had. Yeah. It's kind of made me appreciate the game before. Let's see what's in this room. Maybe something cool. Oh, and again, this is almost a like a workshop. workshop vibe. Like sewing and painting. That's amazing. I love all those, like, the, the kind of portrayal of Santa and Santa's workshop throughout the years and stuff, because it does seem just like such a magical experience, like such a magical place where they can just make these, like, amazing things just by hand. 
This is where they wrap all the gifts once they've been made. That's amazing. I believe so, anyway. A, a part of me thinks that there must be some si some type of Santa about, like... I don't know. It, it seems weird to say, but, like, a load of people... I've just imagined this thing, right? But then it must be... Like, someone must have seen it, and it must have been some... There must have been some credibility behind it. I think this is, like, Santa's bedroom. Look at this. Even he's putting up the little stockings. Oh, and look, this is, like, a, like the kind of old equivalent of partitioned rooms. And it still works really well. It does. I love that. Like, genuinely. And, like, there's almost, like, a lot of chairs at the table because it's almost like, you know, they'd be joined by, like... The elves and everything. I just love the story in this place. I need to watch this movie. If, where is it? I I want to say maybe it could be on Netflix, but I'm unsure. But I'm going to add it onto the list. Maybe even for tonight. Claws. Claws. I, I assume claws. I'm being a bit weird today. Oh, look. It's almost like the little reindeer farm out here. We're definitely looking at Santa's house. And then down to Red's Beach. Okay, so then I think we have to run back to kind of like um, resident services again. And then there's kind of like another little branch pathway that we can follow. I hope I'm like navigating the island as it was meant to be. So we say if you go back to resident services, which is down here. Oh no, we need this little path too, I think. So there's some little villager houses. This is really cool. It's kind of like the little neighbourhood. I mean, we have some type of a map. Like the top left was the tribal settlement. The top right was the workshop that we've seen. Um, that we've seen. Wow. The main town. Whoa. So this is the airport. Gosh. So cool. And then the like, l I think it's the last branch we have is coming up at this side. So here we have Nook's Cranny. This might be what's been labelled as Jesper's House and Post Office. But I'm unsure. This could be the old village. Oh, I like that. Old village, I think. And unless I'm mistaken, I think that was like the last branch. No, we need to get down there somehow, I think. Oh, along here, here we go. This is exciting because this looks amazing. Oh, I wanna get a, oh my gosh, I want to get a picture of all this. Because this is literally like, I assume where all the presents would be sent. Like, obviously like you've got Santa, but beyond that... There's like greetings cards, there's things that you'd send to friends and family. Wow. Santa Slay again. Like you said, amazing post office. And then a little toilet at the back. That's actually wildly creative. That's amazing. That's amazing. And yeah, I feel like that was the last branch. Let's just take a look to see if there was anything else. I think down here. Oh, could this be... Oh, Jesper! It's not a letter without postage. Which means another house. So this is Jesper's house, like like we kind of said with the map. Which I'm glad that we got. So I'm not sure who this Jesper character is just yet, but I will. Wow, another gorgeous like Christmas themed house. And they've got the shoes though, which makes it seem very lived in. You'd imagine just them taking it off after... Treading in the snow to stop like all the slush from being dragged through the house. Oh, and I love that the doll's house is lit up, even though the room's dark. That is amazing. Almost like ready for Christmas morning, there's all the gifts on the floor and things. And it just draws attention to it as well. We've got a piano there. I like going into all these festive rooms. They make me happy. Again, I just feel like this is like Christmas Eve, all ready for Christmas morning. 
Like, things are prepared, but the lights are turned off. Yeah, there's probably some type of law to why Jesper's house is largely in the dark, probably, but I guess we're just interpreting things, how how we how we're kind of seeing them, which I think is good, in a way. I want to do, like, a before and after tour of, like, before watching the movie and after watching the oh, movie. And again, the light's on in the bedroom, kind of like it's last thing at night, so... They've just finished wrapping up the presents, the babies have gone to bed, and they're about to go to bed too. Like this could literally be the night before Christmas. I'm getting that feel. Christmas Eve. I love Christmas Eve. Oh. Mmm, and then a little school. It's quite cool, that. I like that. It's so weird, though, with the school and with, like, the partition rooms. It's like... They've seen the future. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a custom gyro at some point. That would be amazing. Don't you think? That would be really have... cool. All those gyroids are, are really cute, but I love all these trees. Like Even just seeing these trees again, I mm. think is awesome. Okay, so that is the end of this branch. So I think with that, that's the entire island. So if you're wanting to take a look at this island too, then please, please, please tag us and the creator in any photos you take. I'm going to give you their dream address. So this is the island map. Their dream address is 2294-4379-9303. So of course, go and check that out. And we would love to see the pictures that you take while you're there. We hope you've enjoyed this, the first of many Christmas island tours. To see the rest, please like, comment and subscribe. JB and Millie, and of course, links to Corrie Dune in the description down below.